healthcare company and based in Germany. In today's video, we are on step A during IND preparation and that is the life cycle management of INDs. Before we start this video, do you know what is life cycle management? Do you know that? It is like we as a human have a life cycle, right? That means when we grow from a kid to an adult, certain changes happen within us, right? This is our as a human life cycle, right? Similar way, drugs have their own life cycle. When they are developed first, after that, many changes are made in these drugs and the management of these changes are called as the life cycle management of drugs. Once you submit the IND application, if any changes you need to make in your product, then you need to take an agreement from health authority. Or in other words, you need to take prior approval from health authority. But does this mean any kind of changes need prior approval? Then the answer is no. It depends how critical the change is. There are different guidelines available which can be referred to understand what kind of changes are considered as major and what kind of changes are considered minor. There are three types of life cycle activities. First is amendment, second is annual report and third is safety report. As the name suggests, Amendment is something which needs to be submitted as an amended information to FDA. So they need to be submitted to FDA when the change is made. While as the name indicates annual report, this is something which is submitted annually. As this is submitted each year, those include the details of the changes made within that entire year and progress on the clinical studies within that entire year. Okay. Then the third category is safety reports as the name is self-explanatory. This is particularly related to the safety aspect. So let's see each of them one by one. First is amendment. Whenever we are making any amendment to FDA, we need to clearly specify what information are we changing. For example, for any protocol related changes, for example, addition of new protocol, any changes in the previously approved protocol and so on, we submit the protocol amendment. But for any information which does not fit within the scope of a protocol amendment, they are submitted by an information amendment. So this was all about what are the amendments. Then the second category is annual report. As the name indicates, annual report means submit them annually. Brief report on the progress of investigations conducted in that year is included as part of the annual report. Annual report need to be submitted within 60 days of the anniversary date. Okay. Then the third category is safety report. Any results which indicate a significant risk to human subjects, then this kind of safety related information is submitted by a safety report. Again, depending on the severity of the condition, these safety reports need to be submitted. For example, any unexpected, serious, suspected adverse reaction needs to be submitted within 50 calendar days. And any unexpected, fatal or life-threatening suspected adverse reaction needs to be submitted within 7 calendar days. So it depends on the severity of that adverse reaction. The more critical the suspected adverse reaction is, then more quickly we have to report this to health authority. So this is all about the clinical trial life cycle management. In our next video, we'll discuss about the step 9 during IND preparation, that is how to end the clinical trials. But before we end this video, do you know which type of protocol changes can be implemented immediately? If you know the answer, then let me know in the comment section. If not, then don't worry. I'll talk about this in my next video. Till then, let's stay tuned for the next episode.